Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to talk about that creative roadblock when nothing comes to mind and you're staring at a blank page, you have your sketchbook, you have your art supplies, what you see is just this page staring right back at you. A lot of times, either you'll put it away and say, I'll do it tomorrow, and that tomorrow never comes to actually put something to paper. If you encounter this roadblock, this technique that I like to do is, when I was a child, I would look at the sky. And as most people would do, we would look at the clouds and you can see shapes. This technique I use on paper. And I used to do it with pencil too. I would just scribble until I saw some shapes and I would go from there. But I would grab a marker and usually like a white Prismacolor and I started using gel uh, pens later on to get a little more detail. But what I would do is start scribbling on the page with the marker and then I would look for highlights into the picture and I would start seeing shapes. And the same thing that you would see in the sky when you were younger, hopefully you, you did the same thing when growing up. Use this, use that, that creative imagination that you saw, little things like this. You'll start seeing shapes. You'll start seeing different things on the page. And sometimes if you stare at the paper long enough, you, you could probably have some kind of visual come to mind. Now these don't have to be pretty. These can be just random loose drawings. And I'll show a little bit of what I mean in, in just a second. Try to let your mind kind of open to not being so, this doesn't have to be a masterpiece. This can be just opening your mind up and trying to get out this creative flow that's being blocked. A lot of times when, when you don't feel like working out and then you finally make it to the gym or just start working out, then you're saying, okay, I'm already here. I'm already going this direction. So you get the momentum to move forward. So right here, I'm gonna do a little an example and just kind of show what I mean. So now that you got your sketchbook, you have your marker and I am left-handed. So I'm gonna to try to just do a doodle and we'll just see where it goes from here. We'll just start scribbling and we'll, we'll see what, what shapes we see. It doesn't have to be pretty. You can just start making shapes. Actually, I start to see And if you see something in the shape, go with it. Make, it. make it what you see. Just just go from there. Just just doodle. You can just start doing shapes. I'm I'm right, I'm left-handed, so let's do the right hand. Let's just see how this goes. I'm trying not to shake the table too much as I do this, but and this is not going to be pretty. Necessary to get you kind of moving forward. At times when you see a shape, just go with it. Start pushing it to be what you what you feel like it should be. Starting to see a little bit of a figure here, but I'm starting to see a little robot head shape. This one's starting to look like a little boat, and just like the other ones, I, I started bigger. But you don't have to go big. You can just get something going to get your get your page flowing. Just get your get your mind in that creative state and not being so hard on yourself, because there's a lot of times where we're just too critical about what we're doing. As long as you're having fun, try not to move this table so this camera doesn't shake. I kind of got a weird setup going on here, but I just wanted to get the idea out. Two little blocks. Sometimes I see creatures, sometimes I see robots, sometimes I see uh, different things. So you can probably see in in the shapes that you that you draw, you might see the the shadings a little darker on certain areas, and then you're just kind of like, oh, cool. And don't think you have to stick with just one marker. Some of these pens I have are different shades and it's okay to start with a different shade. So what, what usually happens is I'll get in here and start to highlight with the Prisma and then you can start seeing little shapes and then just, and this is gonna be a quick thing, but it's gonna be a boat. Um, I already saw a boat when I started it. A little tugboat with a little window right here boom you got a floating boat this one I kind of saw like a little like a robot just kind of looking at us and this can be loose and what what I like to do on this also is 
I'll scan this into like a computer or a tablet and take it into there and start outlining it because sometimes you'll get you'll get a start of a thumbnail and your mind is already going this direction so now I can see little parts of this creature robot whatever but you got a head right here and, and start of arms it doesn't have to be finished this can be something that now I see that he could be incomplete he can have like wires hanging down and he was never finished and go from there we could start detailing out the little things you can say like, all right so this is wires and just just let your mind open up to what you think you see the sometimes you don't see nothing at all and it's okay just to start pulling shapes from it and seeing what happens just like you saw in the clouds you see shapes but we're going to push those shapes a little bit harder to see what we can find it doesn't have to be anything pretty it's going to be like a little robot with eyes it's a little visor thing right here or something it's not perfect but we are drawing and we are moving forward without stopping or this could be a ship you can see that it, it's starting to look like a if I turn it sideways now kind of got a start of a ship there's nothing wrong with going backwards and and maybe you see something else in there you're like oh this could be you know the wings or something and we can draw that back in you could have wings doesn't have to be right side up doesn't have to be perfect we are just trying to get the mind flowing and we can start going that way so now you kind of got a wing <laughs> started connect all this and just go from there and that's really all there is to this technique just go different ways turn the page around go back and forth so I hope that was informative I hope that helped it's it's just it's a small exercise and don't be hard on yourself about this either just let your mind go and just start creating and just put your pen or marker to the paper and push forward sometimes it's harder to start something than to, you know so it just you're just staring at the page hopefully that helps somebody out there i know sometimes i get in the rut and i just can't get going and i come back to this technique a lot i even do it on the computer too with just scribbling out and maybe i'll do a video on some different programs that can help doing the same technique because I do the same technique on the computer too. Thank you for watching. I hope it was informative and have a good day.